Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here in Farming Simulator. Sim in Farming Simulator, but we're here in the um, Family Farm series, and uh, we're going to be cutting the, well, mowing the hay today for the cows. Anyways, let's get into it. Hop in the old side by side here. And then pull it out. And guys, uh, this is out of the video real quick, but uh, I did move uh, farm my f normal farming series because the field was too big, and it, I didn't feel like it was realistic starting with such big, which like with like two harvesters and all that. So sorry about that, guys. If you really like that series, but the farming series is moved to a new map and everything, and uh, all that. So. And uh, also the 2000 series over. Sorry I didn't tell you guys that. But anyway, that's all I had to tell you guys. But back into the video. Alright guys. Well, so we're going to be getting some hay here for these little busters. <laughs> They've been mooing like crazy. Well, guys, the only problem I'm going to have here is, like, there's a thing here, and I don't really know what I'm supposed to use to, uh, mow the hay, so I'm just going to kind of connect something to it and hope it works. I want to say that, yeah, you know what, we'll go, we'll go with the good old H, Super H. So that is pretty small, and the Zetter in the Super H and the H are the smallest chapters here. Then, you know, at the same time, I do feel like I still need something a bit bigger than the H and the Zetter. So. And, guys, if you didn't know, I did get batteries for all this stuff, so, yeah. It actually runs pretty good and everything. So yeah, we're gonna get headed up to Hayfield there. I don't think we're gonna mow the like the whole field, but we're gonna mow most of it. I mean, I'll throw this up there in the belly too. I feel like the H could have ran this, but you know what, guys? I'm gonna switch this out real quick. Since I'm going to put this up on the beller, then I might as well just... Sorry about that, guys, but... Oh, man! But I might as well just, uh... Um, what's it called? Uh, might as well just connect this to the beller here. So let's get this connected here. Back her up. Back it up, loader boot. I don't know why I'm so convinced that <laughs> this and the H are gonna do the hay work. I think I'm also gonna. <laughs> I feel bad that I'm do making them do all this work, but I'm also gonna put them on the plow. So. <laughs> then. Whatever that little green tractor thingy is there, we're gonna uh, put that, I think, on the tether. Something. I hope that has enough horsepower. And then also maybe the wind runner. So, yeah. Ah. Alright, let's get attached here to this mower. I think I might upgrade the mower, but. <laughs> do got to be careful here, guys, because uh, there was a loan on the farm, and there's still a loan. They didn't get to pay it completely off, so, yeah. Yeah, and this is the only thing I'm worried about, is this tractor being able to get up the hill. But 
I think it'll be able to do it just fine. Definitely working to get up this hill. I think this is a bit steeper than the hill in the grass area, so we feel good about that. So I don't think I want to cut like all of it, but I'm gonna cut probably like half of it or something. So, yeah. Tractor can go full speed. Because the mower just runs by itself, so. Alright. Yeah, the reason I'm not going to do the full hay field is because if you ask me, I don't really think they, that the completely, like the whole hay field needs done for the cows. Yeah, this tractor's doing pretty good on this little thing here. I'm actually happy I put it on this because if I did it, it probably wouldn't have been too good. Because you can run this thing at full speed even with the other tractors. So yeah. Probably because they're probably even bigger than this little thing. I believe this is the smallest tractor on the farm, though. No, the Zetter would be the smallest, guys. Yeah, I think that's what you call it. If it's not, you guys will have to let me know. I'm trying not to go full speed here, but... It gets, up, it gets that get up and go going down the hill, so... Like, I'm not even hitting the gas, really. Just kind of down the south here. I think I go around a few more passes. I think I go around two more passes. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to do that. Hit the wrong button. That happens sometimes. Oh, that mower's really taken down these. Wait, where are the bushes that were? Oh. You know, guys, look. Wait, let me see if it takes it right, it gets rid of these bushes here. Guys, there are bushes, like, pretty much in this whole area. And, like, the tractors just run them over. And this mower is pretty good with the blades and everything. It's, like, taking down all these bushes. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, we are gonna eventually, probably, if I get time to, uh, <clears throat> do, uh, some cultivating, or plowing, well, plowing, and then cultivating in that field. I'm hoping I get a good amount of bells here. I'd say this is a good... I think I go up one more time and then call that good. Then head over to get another tractor. Oh, almost ran the bush. Head over to another tractor here and then get it attached to the. I changed my mind, guys, about running that green with the walks or whatever tractor it's called. Whatever the heck it's called. And the wind rower and the tether because I feel like that might be a bit too small. So instead of just gonna run it, we're not. We're just gonna run a bigger tractor. Line. Oh, this tractor's having a bit of a struggle here getting up here. Just listen to that thing. Huh? Purrs. All right, I'd say that's pretty good. I actually found a few pictures, guys, in that half, in the house, like in the little loft part, in boxes, of this tractor and the Super H running, this tractor running the mower, and the Super H running the tether. So I was like, well, since I've seen those pictures, I might as well just throw them on. Probably 
probably should go put this back away. But for now, it's just, I'm going to sit it right here. I just put everything away later. Now the windmill and the tether will get put away. The windmill, the tether will definitely get put away. But so, uh, these things are starting up like no, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to be like, come on man, take off this front loader if you're going to do that. But, I mean, I don't think I really have time, so. Drag this up to the build. I still can't believe they had a tractor this new on the phone. Oh, and then guys, yes, I did get the grass cut. <laughs> Took a little while, but after I found that brush hog, I would got the farmyard cut pretty quick, but then like the house and stuff. Oh yeah, how I cut with my mower. I cut pretty much everything with the mower and then halfway through, I think, yeah, halfway through I found the brush hog. I found a brush hog. If you guys didn't see that video, you have to go check it out. Alright. This thing's doing pretty good here. Oh man. Definitely throwing up that grass. You would not want to be standing behind this or biking behind it if you were. Uh, that's for sure. Ooh, yeah. I believe that is the only like little grass area filled. They end on this farm. One thing though guys is I am thinking about getting like another smaller tractor like the Super H and the H but it can run like the Beller and the Miller so I know those, but those tractors could both run it but still I just wanted something maybe a bit bigger than that. Might be a John Deere, might be a case, I'm not too sure. Alright, get this little up here. Alright. Stick the gears were sticking for a second, guys. I think it was when I was going shifting up to D. The gears changed. I don't know what that was about. I mean, I'll definitely take it in the shop and check it out, but hopefully this won't happen again. Yeah, there's my little dog there. That dog, my dog's name is Bob. Oh, there's the brush hog there, guys. I probably should have just made that thought of that, but, yeah, I mean, I mean, I didn't really want to, so I probably have to get this out, or another tractor, that's bigger, and that thing's just easier, because the field's not too, too big, so like, I'd have to get a different tractor out, and I was just like, yeah, I mean, those ones are already in the front, so I'm just going to get them out. It was supposed to be like a little chore tractor, but I guess I'm using it more than for more than chores. A lot of the tractors I'm going to assume are going to have trouble up on this hill. If this one does, so...
one of my friends might be coming in down to help with plowing the field that's right next to me right next to me right here I don't know he's known our family for a long time and uh so I was one of the and like I didn't always ever live on the farm. My grandfather started the farm. Mm -hmm. I said, and he's in the nursing home now, so he couldn't take care of it, so he decided to just hand it over to me. And then my friend was like he heard about it, so he was like, Hey, I could any I could do anything to help you guys out here. Because, you know, this farm was kind of going under. So the last person that owned it didn't really want it, didn't want to take care of it, and said it was too much money to take care of. Not take care of, but like... Um, so they had... They came here one time to mow the lawn, the person that owned it before me in the family, and then basically just said, I want this stupid farm. So, I mean, I just like... Come on, guys, you gotta at least take care of it. I'll even take care of it for you if you don't want to take care of it. But they said, no, I own it, and I don't want anyone to work on it, so. They're all probably gonna be impressed when I uh, get this farm up and running. And I do help out with, like, I do haul, like, with the semi-truck and stuff for my friend. I, I'm, like, a little helper for his business. It's like if he's busy, then he'll have his employees or me haul for him. I just do it on the side to make a little bit of extra money. Mm. To help out this farm and get this loan paid off. Mm -hmm. Chapter parked up here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The reason I didn't get this one put away is because I didn't really feel like putting it in yet. Alright. I'm just gonna unfold this bell right here, guys, and lower it. Let's see if this chapter still has enough power to run it. Since it sat for so long. Hopefully this trailer gets the bells. This chapter. I feel like it's stuck in a gear here. I'm trying to shift it up and it won't move. Come on, shift up! Come on, man. You're not gonna get stuck on the sill. I ain't gonna let that happen. You gotta be kidding. This thing ain't gonna shift up. Come on, tractor. Shift! Shift! This thing not shifting here, guys. I... What the... Like, it's going up, but like... What the... I don't know if it's just because, like, this is a bit too heavy for it or something, or what? Like, you're joking right now, I hope. But I swear this is the chapter I've seen running. This is Beller in that picture. Like I'm, I feel bad that what I'm doing to this thing, but like this is the chapter that was in the picture on this Beller. So I'm like, like you can't be right now. You can't be. All right, it's shifting pretty good now. Oh, we go. There we go. Ah, the tractor. Come on, tractor. Oh, you're kidding right now. This thing's, like, being, like, so, like, I don't even know. It's acting like it can't move. Uh, I, tractor, 
don't be messing with me right now because I know you can pull this thing. I don't really know what's happening anymore, guys. I'm like, I'm talking to a tractor. <laughs> I mean, like, there's probably something wrong with this thing. <laughs> See, it, like, runs this thing perfectly fine. So. As long as we can get up the hill. <laughs> I hope we get enough bells on this thing. Looks like there's a bunch of bells in there. Come on. Well, they seem to be going on now pretty good here. Too. I'm not angry at how this stuff. Uh, how many bells are getting here? Yeah, I'd say that's a good bit. I mean, it's not too many cattle that I have to feed. This tractor isn't like it's having a hard time getting this up the hill, but hey, I don't even care. You're, Tires are spinning. I can't disconnect this on, on the hill. Let me go put a chalk under this so it don't move. Hopefully. Alright, you put under there. Yeah, the good thing I had that thing there. It was just sitting there, so I was just like, come on, you gotta be kidding. Oh, it's tractor stuff. Yeah. Alright, well, it seems to be staying there. Good thing I had that, that, good thing that little, like, brick was laying there at the end of the field. Wow, I'm kind of sad. I thought this tractor could do it, but, I mean, they had it on the dollar back in the day, but, I don't know. I guess we're getting this green, light green thingy here. <laughs> I swear if that thing can't run it, I don't even know it can. Well, well, they did say back in the day the rain was just slowly washing out that little hill, but... <laughs> so, I don't really even know. Maybe the hill just got way too steep. I mean, in the picture, that that hill was not that size. It was a bit smaller, but so I would have thought this tractor would have been able to make it. Now I'm flying over here with this tractor, like, come on, I gotta get the field done. Hopefully, it doesn't. Hopefully, there's no rain in the forecast. Yeah, cause when um on this farm here back in the day, they literally didn't have a. Any, what's it called? Oh, sorry guys, I'm forgetting here. Oh, they didn't have like an overhang for these bells. They just sit out. So. Like they'd put them under a tree or something and hope it didn't rain. The bells have gotten rained on before, but I'm gonna, like, I'll probably put up, like, something for them. Because they always used to put up, like, a little metal roof for them or whatever. I don't even know. Yeah, tractor. You're going to make it. I don't know how it works. All right, guys. Well... I don't know what you guys think, but... I'd say that's good enough because I don't even think a tractor. Way bigger tractor. This thing literally had no problem until I get up this hill and I'm and I'm just like, 
Oh, you stupid tractor! It made me so freaking angry. Oh man. Like I was just like, yeah, I was literally like that. Like, come on, you stupid it's a garbage. I mean, it's not a garbage tractor. I'm just saying. Like, come on, man. All right. Well, I'll see you guys when I get this little shed thing put up that they have that they always used to use because it's sitting over here right now. So, see you guys when I got that. All right, guys. So. I got that little thing, thing the barber put up. Let's see what we get. So let's get them unloaded. Um, yeah, I'm kind of worried of how I'm gonna unload them. This is literally all they have. I wish I had a bit of a better thing here, but as long as they're under cover, that's fine. So I'm gonna have to like turn the other way, I think. Here, I'm gonna turn around the other way because I don't really feel like backing this trailer up because I know it's gonna be really hard if I do. All right, let's go. Uh, this is bells and loaded. Make sure I don't hit on. And then let's get this parked up where it was. I'm kind of upset that this thing was like, I'm getting kind of, I was kind of angry because I was like, come on tractor, this is the home stretch, you really gotta film me now. Oh, the tractor is like, hey, hey, buster, I ain't doing it, I'm too old. And it's, these tractors are pretty old, but like, come on, you can do it. Like, see, I don't want to put like any of these on them, because I feel like, you know, like, that would be a bit overkill, so, like, you know, I don't want to do that. But, I mean, if I really have to, because I don't want to spend too much money on them, I guess I will. But, you know what, guys? I don't really care. I think I'm going to have to buy another chapter for this farm, but... Anyways, that's going to be the end for today's video. I'm going to get that chapter put away, but... I'm going to go check out this bar barn real quick before we end the video. But guys, I'm thinking about maybe I ought to put this tractor on the bell room stuff. Because I knew it was in here. Anyways, that's going to be the end for today's video, guys. If you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash that like and subscribe button. See you in the next one. Don't hit it too hard. Don't want to break your screen. See you in the next one. Bye!